Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, The Simpsons, uh, which is going to bring to you all the interesting stuff which me, Simran, and my fiance Jason do. Uh, we recently bought a new house, yes, it's amazing, and we thought of doing like a front yard landscaping, so I thought I'll share the process with you. So please like and subscribe. Hi, we just finished with our front yard landscaping and it's looking really pretty and I'm very excited to show y'all. So do y'all want a sneak peek? Pretty right? Initially our lawn was just extended along the walkway but I wanted to add some color. Uh, so instead of having a, like a conventional raised bed with to add color with flowers we decided not to go uh, with the rectangular uh, raised bed along the whole walkway uh, but instead we thought of using like different shapes so we thought of going with circles and curves the first circle for plants that needed shade to path sun second circle was for plants that uh, needed path sun path shade and the curve was for the plants that needed full sun so while we started uh, digging uh, the the area along the walkway uh, we reached fill and gravel uh, within a foot of digging and that's not really good for the uh, plants so we dug almost like more than a foot below uh, the ground level and we had to remove all the fill outside and instead we filled it uh, with part compost, part black soil and a little bit of potting mix as well. And after adding uh, those mixtures in all the three segments, we uh, started placing our plants to see uh, where we would be uh, uh, like putting them in the soil then after we found the placement depending on the height depending on the amount of sunlight that they would receive uh, we dug as per the instructions so you get a tag on all the plants so as per those instructions we uh, dug the depth which is usually twice uh, the um, the pot size that you get the plants in and the width uh, is also mentioned on the tag of how far you need to plant other plants uh, around it For the edging that we used, we used uh, the plastic uh, edging. There are different kinds of edgings that you get like stones or the other types. So uh, since our landscaping was done in a budget, uh, we just used the uh, plastic one. And instead of uh, having it above uh, the ground level, uh, we just dug the height of uh, the, the edging and put it below the soil and then uh, compacted it with soil on both sides. So if you see, you'll only see a very small uh, section of the edging above uh, the soil level. So we didn't use any uh, stakes or nails to hammer it into the soil because there is a tendency of it coming off. Uh, so we found this a better option of just uh, pushing it uh, into the soil so that it doesn't uh, move that much. The tools that you'll use, we just use the uh, shovel, the two shovels, first one the spade shovel and the second one was the flathead uh, shovel and second, uh, the third tool that we used was the edger. You will also need a trowel and a transplanter to actually uh, take the plants out from the pot and put it uh, into the soil. So in the first segment uh, wherein we used mulch, uh, we, didn't, we just put the mulch directly on the soil after planting the plants. So what the mulch or the stones that we put does, uh, first thing it keeps the moisture locked in to the soil and secondly it doesn't allow weeds to grow. Uh, but uh, before putting the stones uh, we had to like put a layer of a weed barrier so you get like a cloth, I'll be showing you the picture. So we had to uh, put that uh, cloth first on the soil and you get staples as well uh, wherein you hammer those into the soil to keep the cloth in place. Uh, that helps for the stones not to actually sink into the soil and we did the same uh, thing 
for the part which is along the uh, walkway as well like wherein we put the river stones the colorful river stones so we first had to put a layer of the cloth and then the river stones uh, over it And uh, to finish it, we added some solar lights which uh, look really beautiful uh, at night. So we planted uh, many annuals and perennials, a mixture of them. So you have the red petunias, the purple petunias and the white geraniums. You have the pink sedum that would bloom in uh, fall. Then you have the marigold, you have the white begonias. You have the pink dianthus and we planted orange impatiens. On the left you can see the lilies and then the lovely purple lavender which has an amazing fragrance. So these are mostly the plants that need sunlight. Then you have the juniper, you have the red barberry and then you have the hostas. Hostas usually want shade, the barberry is partial sun, partial shade. You have the lovely hydrangea which is yet to bloom. This is also part sun, part shade. Some more hostas. Then you have the lovely coral bells behind. We have got a barberry which we are yet to plant. Then the dwarf umbrella plant and the pansies that will bloom first thing in spring. So we saw to it that uh, we could have color throughout the year in spring, fall and summer. So it took a lot of time for Jason and me to conceptualize the idea of how we wanted our front yard to look uh, by watching multiple videos, by uh, seeing the landscaping done in our neighboring uh, houses over here in our area when we go for our long walks. So uh, finally we did it. So I hope this video gave y'all an idea of uh, how we um, like decided upon the idea of doing it, the designing part of it, a plant selection, uh, the tools that we used and hope you like the final product as well. So um, you can try something out too as we still work from home and take care. Bye.